you make of the, the game leading up to the, the goal that, that won it? Yeah, I think um, the first half was, was pretty tight because we had more of the ball, I think more shots. I thought we had more of the game, but they were waiting for moments and mistakes and we made some and um, that was where their opportunities came from and of course as I said the atmosphere on the ground every time they get a throw in or a corner or a shot you know it feels like pressure but I thought we were controlling the game you know fairly well um, without finding our absolute top level intensity and it wasn't easy because it was a hot day it was a dry pitch and um, I thought we were playing you know playing pretty well but just a, a step off it on and off the ball in terms of intensity and we spoke about that at half time and um, you know we, we agreed and we have agreed that we're gonna have to be at our absolute maximum intensity every week to, to get points and I think we, we stepped up in the second half. I thought we we played well, I thought we controlled the second half and dominated it really apart from again some, you know, really isolated moments that we didn't defend well enough that give them chances, but in terms of the flow of the game, I thought we you know, we were much better, we built pressure well. We had some chances before the goal, and I thought we were we were good value for it when it came. Connor, your top goal scorer from last season, off, off the mark, um, classic Connor finish, really, hmm. wasn't it? Second second attempt in the box, hopefully. Yep. Um, yeah. Look. Uh, yeah, as you say, a typical Connor goal because you know in in tight spaces with defenders around, there's not many better players that find ways to get his shots off in, in minimum space, both feet, and he, he hits it low and he he hits it hard very often, which is. Um, you know, which is hard to, to stop for goalkeeper, especially when there's defenders around. So, um, yeah, I think it was it was always going to come. Look, he, he had the underside of the bar at Sunderland. He had eight shots last weekend against Stoke. Today, got in the end of three or four, you know, arriving on the second line. And um, if he keeps doing that, we keep getting to those areas, then we know he's a, he's a threat. And sooner or later, one will go in the net. You know, people from the outside are going to be looking at other results. Back end of last season, start this one, the table. Start to be a little bit of noise around Ipswich now. How, how do you, as a manager and the, the group, deal with that? Same as really. Um, we, we've ignored it from the start. We ignored it last season um, when we focused on performances and results. We, we ignored it last season when we would draw a game and it would be, you know, maybe perceived to be a, a negative result. Um, and we just focused on on performances and trying to get better. And um, there's no, there's certainly no. Um, there's no deluded heads in that dressing room. We know how hard we're having to work for every game. We know that we're, we're doing some things well, but we know we can still improve. Um, the margins are, are going our way. I say a lot of games are going to come down to the margins, but we know that if we keep improving and keep doing enough of the right things, then you know you give yourself a better chance to be on the end of them margins. So, um, yeah, we know how tough the division is. You can see it in every game. It looks like anyone can can beat anyone. Um, and I think there's, you know, there's certainly no chance of anyone down there getting ahead of themselves. We have Leeds next weekend, so yeah, it's, um, you know, every game is one that, you know, pricks your attention and pricks your your full focus. And every team has big threats, and we know we're going to have to, yeah, work unbelievably hard just to compete. So um, the players are, are happy down there, but they're tired, and they know that, you know, they're going to have to to work just as hard or harder again next week.